I was recently asked how to link to a specific category in your WordPress website's main navigation. So this short video is going to show you one quick way on how to achieve this. So for example, I'm on my website right now. And if you click on blog, you will see that it actually leads you to a category that I called life. So any post that I had created on my website with the category of life will appear in, um, in my blog. So how do I do this? Well, I could also have managed this by having all of my blog posts onto a specific page called blog. That's in another video I have on my website. But I wanted this to link to a specific category. So the way to achieve this is to go into your WordPress admin, click on appearance, and then menus. And when you very, if you've never created a custom menu in the menu editor, then the first thing you'll see when you come in here is um, an option that asks you to create a menu. So you're first going to need to define and create a menu. So I'm going to call it main menu and click create menu. Once you have your menu created, um, you'll want to make sure your primary menu is listed on that menu that you want to use for your website. I'm going to choose main menu. Now you can add custom links. So they can be links to another WordPress website that you have. You can have that into your in your navigation and I'll show you an example. You can link to existing pages on your website. And then here to, to address the question that was originally asked, you can also link to specific categories and make them a link in your main navigation. So if you click view all, you can see a listing of all your um, categories that you have available on your website. So how to populate this menu? Well, first let's add some pages. So I'm going to choose skills and about me and contact. I'm going to click add to menu. Now you'll see up here, I have skills, contact, about me. I'm going to go ahead and save my menu. Now if I look on my website and refresh, my navigation is now going to have skills, contact, and about me. So the cool thing here is, now I want to add category. And this is very easy. So I'm going to add childhood. Add it to the menu. And you'll see it here, save menu. Now I'm going to go back to my website, refresh, and you'll see childhood is in the navigation. Now, maybe you don't want the actual category title as your text in your navigation. So you can change that as well. Go back, click the down arrow, and under navigation label, you can change it to whatever you want. So for me, I had changed the category life label to blog. So I'm gonna do that again here just to give you an idea. The label could be anything. If your category happens to be one that points to videos, you might want to just leave the label as videos. It's entirely up to you. So I will go ahead back and refresh. You will see that childhood is no longer listed, but blog is. When I click on it, it's still going to bring me to the category childhood. So if I had more posts um, than one under the ch child category, they would all be appearing here, but they're not. But I only have one, I should say. So one last thing, you can also add a custom link to your navigation. So I have several websites. So if I wanted to add one to my podcast, I would type in the URL and then the label, check out my, or let's just put my podcast. Add it to my menu. And before I go ahead and check um, and save this, I also wanna show you that you can change the order. So if I want my podcast first, well, let's put about me first, skills second, my podcast, and contact. That's why I want the order. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. So this is what it looked like before I just made those changes. I'm going to refresh. And now I have about me, skills, my podcast, which if I click it, 
It's going to go to my podcast website. And then blog, which will go to the child category. And then contact will go to my contact page. So that's how to use the built-in WordPress menus editor, uh, WordPress menu editor to add a category as well as even custom links and pages to your website. Um, one final thing, you can ask also make uh, certain pages secondary. So about me can be my parent page and then if I scoot skills under it like this, I go back to my website, it's going to be a secondary menu. So I don't have my website set up to uh, display drop down menus very nicely, but as you can see, I move skills beneath about me and now if I click on it, it's there. So that works nice for websites that might have a lot of information and you might wanna have different tabs in a, in a, a sub nav. So that should do it. Hopefully this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, leave them in the YouTube video uh, comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching.